Hello, I'm gonna read the story, The Mystery of the Kibble Crook. One day, T-Bone ran into Cleo's yard. Clifford, Cleo, let's play, he shouted, but no one was there. T-Bone lay down on the grass to wait. Then he saw Cleo's bowl and he smelt something good. I'll ask Cleo if I could try her dog food when she gets back, said T-Bone. But the longer he waited, the better the food smelled. T-Bone thought he would just have a little taste. Wow, this food is great, said T-Bone. And he took another taste. T-Bone ate more and more until it was all gone. Oh no, he cried. I ate all Cleo's food. She's going to be so mad. What am I going to tell her? Then Clifford, Cleo, and Mac walked into the yard. I want everyone to try my new dog food, said Cleo. Oh no, she cried. What's wrong, asked Clifford. Somebody ate my food, she shouted. Maybe a kibble crook took it, said Mac. That's what you call a dog who eats another dog's food. Cleo turned to T-Bone. Did you see anyone, she asked. T-Bone was afraid to tell the truth. I think I saw a dog run down the street, he said. Which way did he go, Cleo asked. I think he ran toward the dock, T-Bone said. Let's go make him say sorry, said Mac. The dogs ran off. At the dock, the dogs sniffed right, they sniffed left. They looked high, they looked low, no kibble crook. T-Bone stopped to scratch his ear. They are not going to find anything. I'm the kibble crook, he thought sadly. T-Bone scratched harder. He bumped into a box next to him. Then he heard a noise, bark, bark, bark. It came from inside the box. The other dogs ran over. That sounds like a dog to me, said Mac. Yeah, said Cleo, and I bet it's stuffed with my kibble. Clifford turned over the box with his paw. Lots of toy dogs were inside barking. Well, Cleo, they're stuffed, but not with your kibble, said Clifford. Maybe we should give up. It's only dog food, said T-Bone. That dog ate my kibble without asking, said Cleo. Oh yeah, said T-Bone. The dogs walked towards the beach. Max stopped in front of a cave. Every crook needs a hideout, he said. This cave is perfect. Clifford walked up to the cave. Hello, he shouted. Hello, came an echo. It's the kibble crook, whispered Cleo. Let's go catch him, said Mac. Wait, T-Bone said. I don't think you should go in there. Why not, asked Clifford. Because I'm the one who, who, T-Bone stopped. He looked at the ground. What, asked Mac. Because I'm the one who should go in there by myself, said T-Bone. That's very brave of you, said Clifford. Are you sure you don't want us to come with you? T-Bone nodded slap. <laughs> Goodness, Tebow nodded sadly. He walked into the cave. After a while, Clifford started walking back and forth. Clifford asked Cleo, will you stop doing that? But I'm worried about T-Bone, said Clifford. Inside the cave, T-Bone thought about how he ate Cleo's new dog food. He thought about how he told a lie to his friends. And then he walked out of the cave. Did you catch him, T-Bone? asked Cleo. There is no kibble crook. I ate your new dog food, Cleo, said T-Bone. I'm sorry. Why didn't you say so before, asked Cleo. I was afraid you'd be mad at me, said T-Bone, but I promise to always tell the truth from now on. Cleo smiled. Okay, let's see if there's more dog food at home. And the dogs ran off together. The end. Thank you.